Hello, and welcome to the IBD School 200 series. My name is Srinivas Bishu, and I'm a GI physician at the University of Michigan Hospital. In this video, IBD School 226, we will talk about fistulas. Fistulas occur only in Crohn's disease, not in ulcerative colitis. In the most simple terms, a fistula is any abnormal connection between parts of your body. There are many different types of fistulas. Fistulas can form between one part of the intestine to another part. They can form between intestines and your skin. These are called enterocutaneous fistulas. One very common and problematic fistula is the perirectal fistula, which is actually a type of enterocutaneous fistula. They can also form between the intestines and any pelvic organ, such as the bladder. Fistulas form in areas of the intestines that have a lot of inflammation and blockages. Blockages in the intestine are called strictures. In the most simple terms, fistulas form when areas of active inflammation come into contact with other areas of your body. The inflamed areas then erode into normal tissue and this becomes a fistula. Fistulas are often found with strictures. Most fistulas go from one part of the intestine to another part. When these fistulas drain into the abdomen, they can form abscesses, which I will talk about in another IBD School 200 series video. When this happens, people can feel pain and fever. When a fistula comes out the skin, like an enterocutaneous fistula, they can manifest as drainage. Symptoms of perirectal fistulas are usually drainage and pain. Sometimes perirectal fistulas can form an abscess. These present with more severe pain and signs of an infection such as fever. There are other, more troublesome types of fistulas. They go from the colon to the pelvic organs, including bladder and in women, vagina. These can manifest as urinating gas or stool or passing gas or stool per vagina. Fistula formation usually signifies more severe Crohn's disease. This can often mean that you need a biologic therapy such as Remicade. Fistulas are generally treated in two ways medical therapy with medications such as Remicade, Humira, or Simsia, or with surgery. Fistulas can be difficult to treat, particularly perirectal fistulas and fistulas to pelvic organs. Generally speaking, we try to get the inflammation under control with medicines such as biologics. Then, in cases where fistulas don't heal, we may need to do surgery. Because fistulas are stubborn, they can take a long time to heal. In some cases, we can perform surgery right away. These patients usually have intra-abdominal fistulas that have formed abscesses. In these cases, the only way a fistula heals is by removing the abscess. Fistulas are abnormal connections between organs in the GI tract that can form as a result of inflammation or blockages in the GI tract. Fistulas can be indicators of severe Crohn's disease and can be treated through medicines such as biologics and surgery. I'm Srinivas Bishu, and thank you for watching IBD School.